Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll be learning how we can integrate Google Login with Angular. So let's get started. So, for that, we'll be using this package that is called abacrit slash angularx social login. So, let's go ahead and create an Angular project so that we can get started. I'll just go to a folder and right click here and click on open in terminal. If you are on windows, you can create a folder and then inside the folder, just press shift and right click and you will get an option to open command prompt in that folder. Once you have opened the command prompt in that folder, what you can do is you will just type in this command ng new angular google. Here angular google stands for the project name. You can decide your own project name. So I'll just click on enter. I'll press Y and select CSS. Now this will take some time. So until then we can go ahead and create a Google app. So I'll just go to cloud.google.com. I'll provide this link in the description. Now we'll go to this drop down here and click on new project. Now here we'll have to type in a project name. So I'll type in Angular Google. click on create now this is being created so let's wait and click on select project now this one is selected so we'll just go to navigation menu go to APIs and service and click on over consent screen now here just select external and click on create Now here we'll have to type in the app name. So for us it is Angular Google. Then the support email. Then these options are optional. So we'll skip them. We'll add in the developer contact. Now click on save and continue. Now here we don't need any scopes so we'll just go to save and continue. Now we'll add in some test users so I'll just click on add user and type in my email. And click on add. Now this step is important because currently our application is in the testing phase. so. To move it to production, we'll need some approvals from Google. Once Google verifies our app, only then we can publish it. So here we can add some test users for which we can test the application. So we'll just click on save and continue. And it will show us the summary. So we'll just go to credentials now. And here we'll click on create credentials. Then select OAuth client ID. then select application type that will be web application then we'll have to type in the name so i'll type in angular google again then we'll have to add in some javascript origins so i'll just click on add uri and then the first one will be localhost and the second one will be localhost 4200 this one is the default port for angular so we'll add that and click on create Now here we will need the client ID so make sure to copy that so that we can refer it later. You can also get the client ID from here. So in case you lost it you can just come here and copy this client ID. Now here the application has been created so we will just switch to the directory and I will just open this in VS code so I will just type in code space dot. Now here just go to package.json and make sure that angular 14 is installed. The package that we are using does not seem to be working on the lower versions of angular. So make sure it is 14. If it is not 14 what you can do is you can upgrade your angular to version 14. 
you can use this command to update your angular to angular 40 since i already have it upgraded i will not run this command now what we can do is we can install the package so i'll just go to the npm package and i'll copy this and then i'll just paste it in here and press enter now while it is being installed we'll just go ahead and set up the app module so just go to source app and then click on app module now go back to the npm package page and here just scroll down a bit and here we have the changes that we need to make in the app module so i'll just copy this imports and i'll just paste them here we don't need the facebook login so i'll just remove that we need to copy the providers so i'll just copy the providers make sure to copy the entire providers and not the providers inside of the providers that's a lot of providers by the way so just replace it here we don't need the facebook part so i'll just remove the entire facebook part now here we are getting some errors this is because we have installed the abacrit slash angular x social login but here the import has only been made to angular x social log so i'll just add in this here and this here now this will work fine now we'll have to include this social login module inside the imports so i'll just add it in here now we are done with the setup of the app module now what we'll do is we'll just go to app component.ts then we'll go back to the npm package page and scroll down a bit and here we'll get the subscription to the auth service so what i'll do is i'll just copy this and just come here and paste it in here now what we'll do is we'll just import this social auth service from Apocrit slash angular x social login then we'll have to create these variables so i'll just create user of type any and logged in of type type any now i'll just console log the user as well it will be this dot user now the last step is that we just go ahead and clear the app component.html and here we'll use a component that is provided by angularx social login package that is asl google sign in button now we want this to be rendered if the user is not logged in right so what we can do is we we'll just write a ng if condition star ngif and if we find out that there is no user then show this button and if there is a user what we can do is we can create a new div with this condition only but we'll remove the not sign from this that means if there is a user we'll render this part now inside this we can decide what we want to show I'll just show the image, name and email of the user. Now I'll just save this and now we can start the application. So I'll just type in npm start. I'll press N. This will take some time to load. So I'll resume the video once it is done. Last thing that we missed is that we need to add in the client ID here. So we'll just go to google.cloud.com and copy the client ID and just paste it in here our angular app is already running so we should be able to see the google login implemented so i'll just go to the browser and go to localhost 4200 so here we can see the google login button so if i click on this we'll get this option to log so i'll click on the account that i used and click on confirm now here you can see we got the details of the google account that means it's logged in so if we just go to the console and check the console log here we can see 
these details were fetched from Google. Now, if you are using a custom JWT token in your application for authentication, what you can do is you can pass in this ID token to the backend through an API and the backend will be able to fetch the account details of this Google account. That means the backend can fetch the email ID, first name, last name, name and photo URL from this ID token from the backend. And once they fetch the details using the ID token, they can use the email to check for the user inside the local database. So if the user is found, that means the user with the same email exists, then you can generate a JWT token. And if the user does not exist, you can reject the request. Now to get the details using the ID token, you can just go to developers.google.com. I'll provide this link in the description. Now, if you scroll down a bit here, here you will get different options you can use if you are using Java, Node.js, PHP or Pipe. So these are the steps that you can use to get the details of the user account using the ID token. Now, if you don't want to install the package, what you can do is you can also do a get request with the ID token to this URL and you'll get the same details that you got earlier. So this is the way we can use Google login in Angular. Now, if you want me to create a full application from front end to back end, showing you how we can implement login with Google in an actual application, feel free to comment below. I'll be happy to make a video on that. So if you found this insightful, do hit the like button. And if you want more such insightful videos, do subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching.